Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to another episode of Beam NG Quickies. Today, we are doing a bit of a science experiment. Well, I don't know if I would call it that, but it's gonna be it's gonna be fun nonetheless. So we have the updated crash sled here, uh, which has been around a long time, but just recently updated to work uh, with the newest version of Beam NG Drive. And we also have several Supras here, uh, all matching, of course. The windshield's broken on this one. Don't pay any attention to it. I don't know why it's broken, but it is. But we have one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to see how many we can actually smash <laughs> with with the, uh, the sled here. Now, we have several different versions of the sled, and we also have rocket thrusters so we can we can perform maximum destruction but we're gonna start easy uh with just a normal speed slam here from uh the end of the track so we're only going about 55 miles an hour but we still hit all of them there we go the, of course the one at the end is gonna get the brunt of the impact here the second one's still pretty beat up we got some dents here some dents here but the last one really is not doing too bad at all. It did get slammed into our divider here just a little bit, but I would say uh, definitely salvageable. Probably not uh, a complete loss. The rest of them, I don't really know. This one for sure totaled, but besides that, uh, we're looking pretty good here. Let's get a better look at what we got here. So yeah, side impact. You're still probably going to be okay. That is the driver's side on this particular Supra uh, because this is like a tuner one, so of course it's going to be an import, but... Let's go ahead and reset these. There we go. <laughs> Made a really weird sound. And uh, let's try that again, only with the thruster. So if we push... No, not that one. If we push T, we should start going a little bit faster here. Now let's slow it down quite a bit because I want to see every little crunch here. And let's get an above angle so we can see the kind of uh, domino effect that's going to happen here. So here we go. That might be a little too slow. There we go. That's better. Oh, <laughs> smashed all of the front windows this time, the windshields, and definitely, definitely a lot rougher for this guy right here. Let's get in the, the cockpit here. Yeah, that might hurt just a little bit, buddy. Just a little bit, and I think that they're probably totaled all the way down because this one's going right into the, um, into the side here. So let's ramp it up even more so let's reset our sled here reset all our cars and let's go a little bit farther back because i want to see like the, the the top speed of this thing with the thrusters although i don't really know if it has a top speed especially with the rockets but we're just going to go back to this uh, arch here i think that's probably good enough a good enough amount of space to get maximum speed here so let's back it up this thing is literally indestructible by the way look at that i mean we did dent it but it's still gonna keep driving so let's get this thing up to full speed keep our grip please that would be great we're already up to 100 miles an hour 120 this is gonna hurt a lot i'm gonna need to slow down here let's go back to there that should be good 170 miles an hour this is gonna hurt ladies and gentlemen this is going to hurt a lot. I'm guessing all of these are going to be completely destroyed, but let's find out. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, my God. That first one got annihilated. Really, the second one as well. You know, I'd, say, I'd go as far to say the third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, the last one got especially split right down the middle. So I guess the best place to be if you want to live is probably this guy right here. Let's check the inside. Yeah, you're going to be fine. You might get some uh, debris in your face, but at least you're not this guy. <laughs> That's the pole right there. That's a... Hopefully you're not a larger person or you're going to be squished like a tube of toothpaste, as they say. Let's see how the first car handled that. I'm guessing not good at all. Yeah, you're, you are, you're gone on that one. I am wasting so much money in precious Supras right now. I know some Supra enthusiasts are not going to be happy with this video. And uh, I can accept that. I apologize. But just remember, it's uh, it's pixels on a screen. It's not real cars. We can just respawn them. Watch. Hold on. I'll do it right now. Let's respawn that. Respawn. Respawn. And they're back to normal. Look at that. So how do we get crazier from here, you might ask? Well, I have just the thing. Let's actually get this thing back to, um, back to square one here. So we can uh, put on some attachments on the, uh, the, the, the crash sled here. 
All right, so if we go over to Vehicle Configurator, we can actually change all of this, which is pretty insane. But uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use some of the built-in uh, kind of configuration. So we have a cement block, which is what we're using now. We have the cement with the bulge, if you want the bulge. Uh, we have the stock version. And the one I want to go for right now is the pole. I want to split these things right down the middle. So like last time, let's try just a normal... Normal? Why are we stuck? Why are we stuck in manual? We should not be okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't know why, why is it doing that. Okay, the gearing on this thing is a little weird. Does not want to switch into second gear. I might have to switch them. Oh, there it goes. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Here we go. The pole, and like last time, it completely destroys uh, the first one. But as far as the other ones, you're probably safe in the second car. To be completely honest, and I don't even think this one budged at all. No broken windscreen, no nothing. So obviously we need to get this thing going a little bit faster here. So let's get it back all the way back to the arch and try that once more. All right. So obviously this time we got to use uh, the thrusters. I'm, I think we might actually split one of these in half. I'm not going to lie. I think we can do, oh, we, we don't have the thrusters on. Why? Oh, I forgot to install them. Whoops. I was wondering why we, we weren't going like 500 miles an hour. Okay, there we go. That should do the ticket for us. There we go. Okay, let's try to keep it as straight as possible here. I really want to split these things down the middle. I don't know if you can actually split these in half, but man, I want to find out. So let's get it in slow motion here. That's still really fast. <laughs> That's still really fast. I slowed it down even more. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh, somebody exploded. Oh, the cart has taken flight. As well as the first uh, the first car there. Oh, my goodness gracious. So how are we looking? How are we looking, fellas? <laughs> Not good. I think you might still be okay in uh, the, these two, but any other one, I think you're completely dead. This one's pushing it, to be honest, because... Uh, not looking good, but I think you might be okay in this one. And then, of course, the last one, you're going to get wedged between a rock and a hard place. So you're, you're done. You're done, son. All right. So there's actually one secret version of this. Obviously, we got the ram plow. We got the thrusters. This is going to be the, the worst of the day. I don't think any of them are going to walk out of this one alive. I think it's going to send them all just flying into the ether. But let's find out. Keep it straight. There we go. Slow it down. I got the routine down now. Line it up just perfectly beautiful. Let's get that uh, cinematic cam here. Actually, you know, for this one, let's get a really cinematic cam uh, with the uh, the camera mode here. So there we go. Oh, God. <laughs> this is it, fellas. This is it. Let's get this out of the way. And three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> oh, the card's doing a front flip. Oh my goodness, that first one got launched. Honestly, I thought it was going to go through them like butter, but no, sir. No, sir. I think they all probably are destroyed. This one exploded into a fireball. But again, I think you're probably okay in, the, in this one and this one. Just the last, the first, second, and the last ones uh, you're done for. But that's about the most I could throw at this. Uh, so I think that ends the experiment. I guess uh, I don't know how many you, you, we can actually crush. We destroyed all of them, but I, I wouldn't say we decimated all of them. I'd say we decimated three out of the five, which is still pretty good. We need like a heavy version of this, like a train or something. I don't know. Maybe if you guys have any ideas for future videos like this, let me know. Uh, but that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.